Meet Arnold. Arnold, relaxed and carefree, is at this moment flying to see his cousin in Switzerland for the weekend. But suddenly something most unfortunate happens. Both of the aircraft's engines unexpectedly stop working. The airplane is going to crash. Come on, Arnold. You gotta do it. Come on, Arnold. Jump! Jump! At the moment, Arnold is hurtling towards the Earth's surface at a speed of 173 feet per second without a parachute. He just barely understands what's happening. This won't take long. His journey will end in exactly 2 minutes and 59 seconds. Right at this moment, Arnold is 30,000 feet off the ground, which means he's probably already starting to choke. Because of the extremely rarefied air, there's just not much oxygen at this height, and he's going to lose consciousness due to hypoxia. Well, that's what I said. Arnold! Arnold! Thank God you're awake. Arnold, this is not the end. You have just begun to fall. While he was unconscious, Arnold's body flew about a third of the way down. Now Arnold has reached a mark of approximately 21,000 feet. At this altitude, he can breathe freely. But will it save his life? If we imagine that Arnold fell out of the plane after it fell apart in the air, then one possibility is he could try to catch many objects and pieces of debris falling around him and gather them into some kind of cocoon around him. Such a peculiar cocoon of objects will significantly increase his chances of survival. But it must be done very quickly, and there's almost no time. Arnold, now the most important thing. You should try to soften your landing. It will be necessary to not fall on concrete or water, and not on something sharp and pointy, like the spire of the Eiffel Tower. Best to go for something like a haystack, or snow a few meters deep, or, best of all, a stuffed animal factory. And finally, Arnold will be much better off if he tries to loosen his limbs and relax before landing. Three, two, one. Contact. How do you feel, Arnold? Arnold? Are you still alive? Stay tuned.